rearranging the landscape. All habitats change over time. The changes may be gradual as the slow development of fertile soil, or as a sudden as the eruption of a volcano and subsequent burial of large areas under sterile ash and pumice. On May 18, 1980, Mount St. Helens changed from a lovely snow-capped peak to a steaming crater in just seconds. Although the main force of the blast was focused to the north, the south side of the mountain was buried under massive mud flows. The geological records indicate that Mount St. Helens has major eruptions approximately every 125 years, with the potential catastrophic consequences of the surrounding landscape. River of Mud During the 1980 eruption, hot ash, pumice, and gases melted the upper 23 feet of snow and ice from Shoestring Glacier. Meltwater mixed with rock forming a rapidly moving mud slurry. Traveling at speeds of 30 to 60 miles per hour, the thick flow seized trees, rocks, and two bridges. The mud flow's path down St. Helens' southern flank can still be seen today. Revival of Life As they have after every eruption, plants and animals have moved in to reclaim the area around the volcano. The recolonization and succession of the species will continue until the next eruption turns back the clock again.